Good morning, modern steaders. I'm not even gonna say it today. Nope, I'm not even going to. Good morning, girls. What's the matter? Is the rain making you nice and sleepy today? You coming out there, sausage? Come on. Let's go. Hope they're not stuck in there. You girls stuck? Come on. Where are you hiding your dish? I can't find it anywhere. I found it. One of you girls moved it. Watch out so I can get your food in there. They're gonna have it cleaned out in here in no time. Can't wait to take the York rake through here and put some grass seed down. Once you turkeys get a little bit bigger, I'll put you into New York City. I didn't want to say it near them and hurt their feelings, but I hope they're big enough come Thanksgiving. What are you up to, Moose? One of the chickens has a new roosting spot. I was hoping to move New York City today and then overseed the area and see how that area of the pasture grows in versus the rest. But I think we're gonna have to wait to do that till tomorrow. The rain we're getting today, guys. Luckily, we got another indoor project. The plow feet are optional, but being on a dirt road, it's going to come in real handy, at least for the first few snowstorms to have the feet on.
Next, I need to install my piston that moves each part of the blade. And I want to make sure that my fitting end is up. I need to repeat the same thing on the passenger side now. We have a bolt with an eye on it that goes on one side. You want to tighten this until there's a 30 second gap. You see daylight right through the cracks. And on this side, it's tight. So once you have that, you're good to go. Now I put my hose in on this piston just to make it a little bit easier. Take off the plug. I want to make sure I have the O-ring. Attach by fitting silver side down. The hoses that run the V-plow get a protective plastic covering to go on them. All right, now what's left is fill it up with oil. Moment of truth, guys. Now we can find out how we did wire in the truck.
Them headlights are some bright, and that's on low beam. Looking it all over after our first use everything looks good i don't see any leaks all the lights worked i guess all we need now is a little bit of snow but i hope we don't get that for a little while i'm happy with the way it turned out it's works good i think i'll have to get used to running a v plow where i'm used to a straight blade it'll probably take a little while but looking forward to it in tomorrow's video, we'll get back to our normal videos. We won't be building plows or wiring the truck anymore. That part's done. We're ready for winter now. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.